in the previous episode. And I help you, sir? Well, I hope so. My name's Scott Shelby. I'm a private detective. When my boy, Razor, ah. disappeared, yes. I received a letter with a locker ticket inside. Inside the locker, I found this box. I'm Agent Norman Jaden from the FBI. I went by your office this morning. They told me you'd be in suffering. Based on what we've seen, looks like the work of the old Ah, yes. Help. Dad. Shh. Where are you? Ah. I'm so cold. Dad. <laughs> How's it going, bro? My name. The killer is Bear white, back. aged between 30 and 45. Back back he doesn't right. act on impulse, but plans his crimes in a very meticulous fashion. Meticulous. He doesn't have anything personal against the victims. That's why he covers their faces with mud, to make them anonymous. Ah. Why does he kill them if he doesn't have anything against them? He may have other reasons. For him, they're more of an image, a symbol. That's probably why he gives them an origami figure and an orchid as gifts to apologize for what he's done to oh, them. Oh, that's deep. Very interesting. And where does all that get us? Yeah. All right. I'm gonna be pissed at him because I hate him. Builds up a profile of the killer and helps us understand the person we're looking for. It might have been useful if it was done earlier in this investigation. Exactly. Continue, Jaden. The rainfall. One detail attracted my attention. The interval between the time when a victim disappears and the time when the body is found ranges from three to five days. But the rainfall is always at six inches, give or take ten percent. What on earth does that it mean? It means he drowns somewhere in drain water. water. The killer kills only in the fall when there is plenty of rain. It could be that he puts them in some sort of well or tank that is open to the skies and that fills up with rainwater. The more it rains, the less time the victim has to live. We don't have a geo profiling. <laughs> and it's gonna keep changing the image. Then I studied the geographical oh, distribution okay. of the murders. Generally, hey, DSP, how you doing? first murder near to where he lives, so he has a safe place to flee to if any complications arise. The more confident he becomes, the further he roams from his base. By analyzing the locations where the victims disappeared, I was able to isolate a zone where the killer might live. And, and what size is this uh, zone? Size as your mama's pussy. For the moment, about 10 square mile. Ah, oh, great. There must be 10,000 people living in that sort of area. You gonna question them one by one? I'm gonna be pissed again. It may not give us the address of the killer, but at least it's something to go on. Blake, if you've got a better plan, I'm willing to listen. Don't be shy. I'm all ears. That's right, Blake. So what's next? There are two suspects whose psychological profile might fit and can be connected to the comfort zone. I'd like to question them. God damn it. We're wasting our time with this bullshit. The killer's out there somewhere. We gotta get off our asses and find him. Go for him. Blake, I've had just about enough of your shit. You've been chasing this guy for what? Two years? And what are you caught, huh? Nothing. Absolutely fucking lootly nothing. What, you think you can do a better fucking job than me? I am. Your biology degree and your great glasses? Hey, well, let me tell don't you, you dare disrespect my glasses. I don't mean zip when it comes to getting out there. You're just a fucking bureaucrat. All right, I'm going to calm down now. I came here to find a killer. And that is exactly what I'm going to do. With or without your fucking help. Fucking asshole! That's enough. Right. Jesus Christ. You said it took six inches of rainfall before the victim died. How much time do we have left? If the weather forecasts are right, less than 72 oh, hours. Oh, that's soon. Oh my god. Who are we now? Are we investigating? Fucking love him. Not in a gay way. Why? I don't know, he's a cool character. DSP is not as cool as I want him to be. But hey, what can you do about it? No answer. We we'll waste our time coming here. Maybe we should have a little look inside anyway. There's nobody home. We just open the door, silly pants. There is no. Ah, that's convenient. I'm not sure that's entirely legal. 
Call the cops. <laughs> That's funny. Oh. Yeah, this guy's the killer. We found the killer. <laughs> no, he's just... Looks like Nathaniel Williams is a pretty religious guy. What makes you say that? He's a God-fearing idiot, waiting for the end of the world. How the hell do I... We questioned him a few months Oh, back look, there's milk. He was causing a disturbance in the park. He was ranting and raving. Said he heard voices. <laughs> Had this idea in his that looks sick nice. little head that Cozy. I was anti-Christ. I'd come to Earth to persecute. Ah. Really I think it's about right. Ooh, medication. We found some clues. I don't know about this DSP. I don't know what to do. The walls are covered with writing. Quotations from the Bible. Okay. What do we got here? It's a toilet. What do we got? More drugs! Holy shit. That man loves drugs. Well, don't we all? Just kidding. Alright, let's go here. Ah! Hey, man, how you doing? Alright, cool. I think, I think we're ready to go. Not much to see here. Oh, hold it down. Yes. I don't know what I feel about this. I guess we gotta keep looking at Jesus. No? No looking at Jesus? There we go. Candles are still lit. He should be back soon. That makes sense. What is that? R? Oh, up. Oh no! He doesn't look friendly. Huh! Hey, I just met you. And this is awkward. But I like Good your timing, Jesus. Nathaniel. Just the man we're looking for. Angels and ministers of grace defend us. I'm Agent Norman Jaden, FBI. I'd like to ask you a few questions. As God is my witness, I haven't done anything. I minister. <laughs> Relax. Nobody's accusing you of anything. We just want to talk. Alright, so what about your job? Where do you work, Nathaniel? You have a job? My sole occupation is praying to the all-merciful Lord for the salvation of humanity. That sounds fun. So, do you have an alibi? Nathaniel, do you remember where you were last Tuesday at 4.30 p.m.? Here? I was here. I was praying. All day. Oh man, your life seems awesome. Was there anybody with you? No. No, I was alone. Uh-huh. Well, what about the crucifixes? Why all the crucifixes? Are you afraid of something? The hour is nigh, and the wrath of God shall strike men down. I am preparing for the end of the world. Just kidding. What about the voices, Nathaniel? Do you still hear the voices? We know who talks to you, don't we, Nathaniel? Or we both know who talks to you. Don't be an asshole, DSP. Don't speak that name. The devil. What does he say to you, Nathaniel? Blake, what are you stop, doing? Stop, Blake. I can't talk about Blake, it. Blake, stop. You mustn't talk about it. He orders you to go and That's find enough. new crate. Leave he? him alone. He needs more and more. What? Whatever. Okay, I can go around no. him too. You mustn't mention him. You'll bring him here. He told you to go and find that kid shit. in the park. Are you the out of your mind? Tormented you all night long. You wanted them to stop, didn't you, Nathaniel? I interfered too early. <laughs> this becomes weird. That's enough. All right. So you obeyed them to make them stop. You took that boy with you and you drowned him. Hey! Isn't that right? Hey! Oh. No! Stop! Stop! You killed them, didn't you, Nathaniel? Are you gonna confess, you bastard? Come oh. on, man. You are the Antichrist. <laughs> <laughs> you to your father in hell. I start to get barrel. 
He is the son of Satan. He was sent to Earth through the shoot. Oh hands. shit! For Christ's sake, shoot! Psychology. You're not gonna kill the Antichrist with a revolver, Nathaniel. He's much too powerful for Antichrist that. Antichrist, my ass! Get that gun out of my face! Calm down. Keep calm. Everything is gonna be fine, Nathaniel. Team. Oh shit. You shall oh shit. You shall know divine power. I. I shot him. Yep. Looks like you did. I didn't mean to do it. Can't say I'll miss him. <laughs> Come on, let's go. You son of a bitch, you made me look like an asshole. <sighs> he was gonna shoot him. He was totally gonna shoot him. You didn't have to shoot him in his face. That was stupid. Come on, man. I don't wanna kill. Hey, it's God. It's God. Can I lick your nose? No? Just once, please? Edit. Blunder. Nice car, bruh. It looks pretty new. It's weird how they mix old and new things in this game with the RA and all, but everything else just seems kinda. It's climbing in your window, it's snatching your people up, trying to rape you, so y'all need to hide Scott Shelby. Hide your wife. Hide Scott Shelby. Hide your wife. Alrighty then. Let's go and investigate, shall we, bruh? Open. Open. Ho oh, ho! Convenienzo. That is not a word. Don't even worry about it. There's a baby. Is it Justin? It sounds like him. <gasps> what is this? Mrs. Balls? Mrs. Balls. Seriously, that's her name? Ugh. It's too hard. I can't stand it anymore. Take care of my baby. <gasps> no! Wait a minute. What? Call. Anybody home? Wait a minute, what? Maybe she's still in the house. Come on. Where did we go? Wait, wait. Where? where? Uh What is in here? Mrs. Bowles? Mrs. Bowles, are you there? Oh cha! You gotta do it harder, bro. Ha cha! Come on, that's just gonna hurt tomorrow. Oh shit! shit. Bro, that's a lot of periodo. Take her up. Yeah. Mrs. Bowles! Mrs. Bowles, can you hear me? Oh no! Wake up! She's dead, bruh. Wake up! Beautiful! Uh, Is she alive? Let's put her down on the bed. How could you kill yourself if you have a baby? I'm gonna call an ambulance. No, I... I don't want to go to the hospital. Please. Okay. You got something around here I can dress this wound with? Yeah. I think so. Poor girl. Okay. Don't move. I'll be right back. Alright, bros. I'm gonna end this episode here. But like and favorite if you enjoyed. Subscribe to become a bro today. And I'll see you next episode. Love you, Bruce.